Hi friends, our reading today is from 1 John chapter 3, um, starting at verse 11, but I want to read for us today verses 16 to 18. And they say this, this is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need, but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and truth. Oh, I love this passage because in many ways it goes part of the way to describing what the Christian faith is about. That it isn't based on our own efforts or our own achievements or anything that we think we can do for God. But it all starts with God's love for us in what he achieved in Christ on the cross. And I love that. I love that my faith isn't based on me. It doesn't start with what I can or can't do. It starts with Jesus. It starts with the fact that I can love others because he loved me first. And that secures me, particularly in this season. It gives me a new perspective on what my life and my faith is about. That if I'm not the source of my own faith, and he is, I can turn to him and know with surety that he's faithful. I love as well that the faith that I'm a part of is not a concept. It's not a good idea or good advice or something that's slightly better than everything else and is a good choice. But my faith is real, it's tangible, it looks like something. I'm called to put love into action, not so that I can point people to me or point people to anything that I do or to boost my own ego. But essentially the call in this reading is to put action to faith, action to love, so that my love looks like something. And so that people essentially can see that Jesus is alive. God bless.